In this video, we're going to take a look at transforming radical functions. When we're transforming radical functions, oftentimes we'll start with the parent function here, which is the simplest version of that function family or the, the parent. And what we often will look at is what I call recipes for the particular function. So the transformation, notice that what we have here on this side the vertical transformations the thing that happens happens on the outside of our f of x piece and if it's a horizontal situation it happens on the inside so if we can look at that in reference to our radical in this case the square root that can help us to know well is this something happening vertically or horizontally and specifically what it is so let's just go ahead and try to apply these recipes and sort of work backwards to see what happened so the difference between these two we have inside the square roots a minus one and outside we have a plus four let's start with that plus four piece notice right here we have that outside the f of x thing so this would be a movement and it's positive so that would take us up four units okay then on the inside we have that minus one notice that the form here is x minus h so h would be one and that's a positive one so this would actually move us one unit to the right so the transformation for this first one is up four units and one unit to the right now you could graph this and see the comparison between the two and what you would find is sure enough that is the case so don't be afraid to grab your graphing calculator or maybe Desmos and graph that to see if it does what you thought it would do let's take a look at this one over here now this one we've got something multiplied out front so is that this one or this one well the out front multiplication look at that right there a times f of x so this is gonna be and since this is less than one and greater than zero it's going to be a shrink so it's a vertical shrink by a factor of one fourth so vertical shrink by one fourth and then on the inside we have this plus five going on remember the inside ones are right here and the form is x minus h so in order to get a plus five what that had to be was x minus negative five right because then that minus h so h has to be negative five now negative five takes us which direction either left or right well that would be to the left remember left is a negative direction so it's going to take us left five units and a vertical shrink by a factor of one fourth okay now let's go the other direction where we're given a uh, function to work with and then we're asked to apply a transformation to it so I'm gonna slide my recipes up to the top here and let's see if we can not apply those recipes in these two situations okay so we're gonna start with this function right here our f of x and it says let g be a vertical stretch by a factor of three and a reflection over the x-axis okay so how I like to do this is to grab the recipe for what it's saying to do right here is the vertical stretch and it's by a factor of three so that's gonna be three right there so three times f of x so I'm gonna start by writing it like this y equals a times f of x and then I'm gonna make a function called g but I'm not there yet because I have two of them so I'm just gonna use something different to know I'm not to g yet so I'm gonna call it how about j we'll call it j of x equals and it's gonna be three times f of x now do we know what f of x is absolutely it's right here f of x equals this so I'm gonna replace f of x with that thing so my j of x right here is gonna be equal to 
3 times the f of x, which is the square root of x plus 5. Okay, so now I've got that vertical stretch by a factor of 3. We can't distribute that through there. Sometimes people think they want to distribute. We can't do that. Then we want a reflection over the x-axis. Well, let's take a look at what we have going on there. And a reflection over the x-axis, notice our recipes. If we go right here, it's this one. So this is now going to be my g. So I'm just going to start by writing my recipe y equals negative f of x and it's really j of x that I'm working on now so my function g is going to be g of x equals negative j of x okay so how do I do that well I just tack a negative on whatever j of x is j of x is right here and so I'll just throw that negative out front there so my answer for this one is g of x equals negative 3 times the square root of x plus 5 like so again you could double check to see that this is what it says by simply graphing this one and this one to see if those changes come through on the graph alright then let's go to this last one it says let h be a translation three units to the left followed by a horizontal shrink by one half okay so for this one we're going three to the left that would be this recipe right here so I'm just gonna jot that down so it's y equals f of x minus h and remember three to the left the number that represents three to the left is negative three so I'm gonna put in negative three again there's two steps to this so I'm not gonna call it h of x yet I'm gonna call it how about k of x okay and you could use any variables I'm just using something different to be clear that I'm not to the function I want to be yet then that's equal to f of x minus and again three to the left well that's gonna be a negative three so it's actually gonna be f of x plus three remember function notation says we take whatever's in here and we're gonna plug that in to this function for x so we go up here and we say alright my k of x is gonna be equal to the square root of wherever I see an x I need to put this in its place so it's gonna be x plus three like so I can put it in parentheses not a bad idea and then there's that plus five sitting there now in this case those parentheses don't really do anything and we can combine like terms so we have x plus three plus five would be x plus eight so my k of x is equal to the square root of x plus eight then we've got a horizontal shrink by a factor of one half now depending on uh, the source sometimes they'll just show this as a times x but I like to look at it this way because it's really the reciprocal of whatever that is so this is actually my stretch or shrink down here so if I put a horizontal shrink by a half what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that a and drop it in on the bottom there so the one half it's gonna be one divided by one half which would be two so what I'm gonna have and this is now going to be my h let me put the the y here first so y equals f of one over a times x and then my function is gonna be h of x equals and in this case I'm gonna use k so let me write k here k of 1 over a my a is 1 half so 1 divided by 1 half is 2 2 x again remember function notation says I'm gonna put 2 x wherever I see an x in my function called k well there it is right there so finally I get my result my transform function is gonna be h of x equals the square root of putting in 2x where I saw the x so 2x plus 8 so 
when we're transforming radical functions, a couple things to remember. First of all, these recipes are critical. Notice that vertical stuff happens outside the f of x, and horizontal stuff happens inside the f of x. Remember function notation, and it tells us, like here, if we take that recipe, oh, this is f of x. Well, we know what that is, and we can plug it in. Or, if we have a situation like this, where it's f of x plus 3, remember, that means anywhere we see an x in that function, we got to put the thing that's inside the parentheses there in for x, and then we can simplify. If you want to check to make sure that you've done the, the transformations correctly, go ahead and graph, and make sure the graph does what it's asked to do. Hope this was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.